okay hello guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to create door window and wall tags okay we are going to start from creating door tags so to do that we we'll click go to this annotate bar we're already there click on this tag or icon then check in the door tags box just check only the door tags then click apply okay so you've seen some numbers have appeared um, around where we placed our doors. So now it's currently in 1, 2, 3, 8, and 5. So we are going to change the parameters from mark to type mark. So we'll be able to tag the doors appropriately. Okay. So first of all, we are going to um, make sure that our doors, um, like the type of doors we have, are the ones we actually placed and we want. So I'm just going to name this door this type i'm going to rename this door as t1 okay okay so i think it's the same door i placed here so it's d1 d1 and d1 okay i'm now going to click on this tag this number that is the tag the door tag then edit family okay now we have opened the door tag um the we have opened the door tag family so we are first going to hide this one for now but let's just delete this for now then edit this so to edit this we we'll simply edit the label and change it from mark so you click on this mark and remove it click on the mark remove it then go to type mark click on type mark and place it there then once you have loaded in the type map, we'll now put the prefix as T. So just the meaning door and the sample value as one. Okay. Then we have click apply. And okay, so we have placed we have edited the label. So we're going to change the fonts and parameters and text parameters of this label. So to do that, we'll click on edit type. Remember, edit type. <coughs> then we'll change it the text size to 2 and change the font let's just change the font to elegant locks major okay so let's just change the color to red first and just see how it goes okay so that's said and done okay i also like creating a circle line a circle line around my daughter so i'm just going to create that so i'll delete this one first then go to create go to lines door tag then click on the circle tool then select the center and just draw a circle okay so i'm going to load it in to the project no override existing parameters okay so you see the tags have changed so this is now d41 the reason why it's d41 is that the type mark of this door now is 41 so we're going to change the type mark to one so it will change around for all these projects so uh, all the doors in the project so i'm going to click on the door then click edit type then scroll down and change the type mark to one okay so we have successfully created a, a, a good door tag for these doors so we are going to do the same for the windows now and it's good that we have different type of windows so you, you can see how practical the, the window tag should be okay so to do that with the same thing we are going to go to the annotate bar now and tag all then click on wall tags no sorry window tags click apply okay the same thing here the only thing is that i mistakenly said click on door this thing. so i'm just going to delete this cutting water for now okay so it's actually a window tag because a window is embedded embedded in this cutting wall so but i'm going to just show you guys so we are going to click on the tag then edit family okay so the same thing goes here we are going to click on this tag then edit the label okay then click on this mark and remove the mark then look for type mark 
then use it as the basic parameter set the prefix as w meaning window then the sample value as one okay so we're going to edit this text now and to do that we'll go to edit type then change the text font to two elegant locks major um, font style oh, sorry okay make it bold and change the color to red okay since this is window let's just use a different color let's use blue okay then we are going to change this this um, shape around the tag let's we are going to let's try using a hexagon or pentagon so we're going to create go to the line tools then click on this pentagon and to, to create one so there we go so we're going to load it back into the project no override the 16 parameters okay so as you can see as before the numbers is displaying at the type mark numbers of the windows so we're going to edit it so first of all i'm going to click this big window i think this window and this window they are the same so i'm going to change it to edit type rename to w1 okay i'm also going to change the type mark to one okay so once the type mark changes to one you see all these all the in all the instances the window has changed to w1 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 that is the essence that's why i use type mark as my label per, uh, parameter okay so we're going to change the smaller windows now we click on edit um, let's um, edit type rename let's change it to w2 okay so we are going to change it now we have changed it to w2 we change the type mark to 2 apply okay there you go we have created the window tags and the door tags so um we are going to be creating wall tags and we are going to be using cutting wall so since cutting wall uh um, like most times cutting wall instances don't usually repeat in a project so instead of type mark value that unifies the whole um windows or the whole doors like any um if this particular door for example is in any instance it will replicate it as the one but um, we are going to be using normal mark value so we can name it manually ourselves based on cutting walls you are usually diverse in the project okay so to create the tag for the cutting wall, we're going to go to annotate here we're not going to tag by category because if i tag all the walls it will both select the cutting wall and the normal block wall so i'm not going to do that i'm going to tag by category and i'm going to remove if i leave this leader it will come with this um, label line and i don't really want it so i'm going to uncheck it i just place this daughter here okay so this i've placed this wall tag so i'm going to edit it it's not showing anything now but i'm going to edit it now so i'm going to click on edit family so i'm going to click on this edit the label i'm not going to change this from type mark instead of type mark i'm going to change it to normal mark the normal wall mark I'm going to change it the prefix value to CW meaning cutting wall. Then I'm going to use sample value one. Okay. Then I'm going to change the text parameters. Okay, let's change it to two. Um, let's change it to elegant slugs major. And let's make it bold. And let's use okay, let's use orange for this one. So I'm going to use orange for the cutting walls. Apply. So as you can see it has changed and um, i think this um shape this um, diagonal box is too big so i'm just going to reduce it by offsetting it a bit let's use two two mm offset okay two is too much let's use one offset 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 okay so we're going to load it into the project now so we'll click on load no override existing parameters 
So that said and done, we're now going to click on the wall and change the mark to one. Okay. Now, have you seen that the mark has appeared? CW1 cutting wall one. So, for example, now if I go and draw another cutting wall, architecture walls. Okay. Let me just create another um, cutting wall using storefront and just create another one. Let's say here. Okay, then I now want to tag it. I'll go to annotate again, tag by category, and click on it here. If I click on this cutting wall now and change it, um, change the mark to two, you see that the cutting wall has changed to CW2. So you see the difference between mark and type mark. If I'm using type mark now, if I change the the type mark it will change for every single cutting wall in the whole project but since it's cutting wall i decided to use mark 2 so i can be able to change it by the cutting walls